Federal Railroad Administration Office of Railroad Safety and Motor Power and Equipment Compliance. Chapter 1, General Information and Introduction of the Motor Power and Equipment Compliance Manual. Compliance Manual provides the guidance with the Federal Safety, Motor Power, and Equipment Inspectors and ensure the compliance with the Federal Safety Laws. Finally, the non-compliance with the Federal Safety Laws may result in enforcement action, civil penalty, discussion, safety standards for the manual provided with the interpretation of policies related to special specific regulatory section. The information contained with the manual does not modify the alter or revise the federal law. The manual is the property for the Federal Railroad is intended to be used by the FRA personnel. The information in this manual is intended to provide with the internal guidance does not provide any of the basis for the private party challenging the FRA exercise and experience of the discretion in particular ease. Um, the content is the manual may be revoked, modified without prior notice at any time of the FRA by the FRA. The manual supersedes in all pro previous motor power and equipment enforcement manuals. The manual is compliant with the Office of Railroad Safety General uh, Manual and is revised in August 2009. The general manual provides the detailed information regarding the FRA's overall operations history, specific statutory authority, rulemaking, and inspection investigation procedures. Both manuals are specifically intended for the safety inspectors technically specialized through the country with the monitoring compliance with federal safety laws standards that apply with the railroad industry you use both manuals to achieve the uniformity consistency as well as enabling the FRA's frontline representatives successfully promote the agency's safety mission. Inspectors should use the compliance manual as an aid to help the game maintain better understanding of the laws governing the safety railroad rolling equipment. However, they have their gun knowledge and understanding laws regulation alone is not enough to good inspector. The success of the FRA safety assurance of the compliance with the hinging on the ability of the inspectors to use good judgment strategy of the railroad industry so that the compliance with regulations is achieved. Inspectors have considerable enforcement discretion for the manual should be used to guide the individual on how they exercise the discretion. The manual does not provide the adequate guidance for the position situation or if there is any doubt in the meaning of any of the information provided within this manual. The inspector should seek the assistance of the regional motor power and equipment specialist. The compliance with the directive of the manual will result for the uniform application of enforcement of the federal law safety regulation in the nation. The uniformity is necessary for the effective program management and is managed by the Federal Railroad Safety Act of 1970, Public Law 91458. The directives also help to achieve the maximum um, effective use of limited available resources. All activities should be conducted in accordance with the FRA's goals, improving the railroad safety according containing the general inspection principles in Chapter 3 of the General Manual. Uh, questions and operate about information and interpretations contained in this manual should be referred to the motor power and equipment of my headquarters staff of the RRS 14 for the proper response. The suggested improvement the correction of this manual should be submitted with the regional specialist who will form the RRS 14 program goals. The goal of the motor power and equipment inspection is to administrate the effective safety program to achieve the safe operation mechanical practice with the railroad instruction. The compliance with the federal law has been designated with the promote the railroad safety. It relates to the employee's passenger for the general public of the motor power and equipment program is primarily responsible for the motor power and compliance with the following railroad safety regulation found in Title 49 CFR Regulations Part 210 Railroad Noise Emission Compliance Part 215 Railroad Freight Car Safety Standards 218 Railroad Operating Practices Subpart B Blue Signal Protection Workers Subpart D prohibit Prohibitation Against Tampering with Safety Devices Part 221 Railroad and Ending Marking Devices Passenger Commuter and Freight Trains 223 The Safety Glazing Standard Locomotive Passenger Cars and Caboose Part 224 Road Reflection. Reflectorization of the railway freight rolling stock. Part 229, railroad locomotive safety standards. 230, in locomotive inspection maintenance standards. 231, railroad safety appliance standards. 232, brake system safety standards for um, freight or non-passenger non equipment's end of the train device. Is. Part 238, Passenger Equipment Safety Centers. Part 239, Passenger Train Emergency Preparedness. 239-1016, Onboard Emergency Equipment. 239-107, Emergency Exits. Basis for regulation inspection of the statutory authority regulation inspection conducted by the motor power and equipment the inspectors come po comes from various actions of the United States Congress for detailed discussion on the authority relate please related the brief history of organization of Federal Railroad Administration Chapter One for the general definition of the role specialist as here in the manual refers specifically special, specifically regional motor power and equipment railroad safety specialist specialist is responsible for the technical evaluation oversight of all the motor power and equipment inspection and also its activities with the region and provides with the technical guidance and advice with the motor power and equipment the headquarters specialists are subject to the same requirements and guidance manuals. Inspectors are used here in this manual 
um, refer to the federal motor power and, power and equipment inspectors as qualified state inspectors, and the inspectors are frontline representative for the agency must have through the conducting themselves in a safe, professional, ethical, courteous manner. State equipment inspectors, the use of the here in their manual refers to either the qualified state car inspector, the qualified state locomotive inspector, or qualified state motor power and equipment inspector who has been certified by the FRA to conduct the inspection, equipment inspection for the participating state. Stakeholders, including the agencies, regulates all as well as the those serve, that serve some of the partners of the FRA developing the safety and administration of the technology while others help them develop and to the enforce the FRA safety regulations. All stakeholders depend on the FRA to fulfill the mission and promote safety and environmental soundness, successful railroad transportation to meet the current future need future needs. Credentials. Inspectors must have a credential um, on their person while on duty. Any request provided with the identification should be complied with the proper and the courteous manner. Inspectors should not permit the credentials to be photocopied. Additional inspectors are encouraged to be obtained with the provided with the business card and state co um, co holders and conditions warranted. Inspectors should consist with the supervisor provided. Procedures procuring the cards and conditional reimbursement is permitted. The personal safety the inspector first concerned with his or her own safety that accompanying the personal the inspector should also remain alert with the dangerous moving equipment and third rail electrified equipment. Inspectors must comply with the railroad request for the using the safety equipment and use such as hard hats, safety fat, shoes, safety glasses. Inspectors should also comply with the railroad safety rules. The extent of which material interfered with the FRA's capability to conduct the investigation. The FRA inspects when not required for the establishment of the boost signal while conducting the inspection and activities. And the inspection should be related with the familiarity with the FRA Railroad Administration safety policy procedure recommendation copy of the pound pilot available to the F through the either the year of the regular headquarters manager of the FRA industrial hygienist as as were the regular tree program. Recommendations for the safe work procedures each inspector is encouraged to refer to the public published by the FRA called the Recommended Safety and Work Procedure to assist the performance for the his or her duty by adhering the information contained with the booklet, standing alert, never to take this in the work environment, and the granted with that you will reduce the injury to yourself and the working to procedure practice and the defined with the suggested way of to perform the job. Potential in, uh, injuries increasing with the procedure prescribed. Procedures are not, leave, uh, not properly followed. Rules and regulations are not uh, nothing new to us. The FRA has complied with the comprehensive set of this safe work procedures for the inspector following the day-to-day -day work activity that they were to develop in the study of the existing railroad safety rules, the FRA colleagues, and their participation in various job safety ad analysis activity. The information of the booklet is not clear. If it does not provide enough material to make the sound decision, the inspector should contact the call collateral duty officer or supervisor for additional guidance. Remember, no job is important, no services are, or is so urgent that we cannot take time to perform all the work safety take bulletins, and technical bulletins, all these safety assurance compliance with the periodically issued technical bulletins to provide with the instruction guns for very good general discipline and warranted issues. Motor power and equipment inspectors maintain the current level with the general with motor power and equipment. The technical bulletins must be readily available. It's suggested for the current technical manual bulletin can be kept in this manual. Um, Contacts with the news media. Inspectors not authorized to grant interviews to respond to responses with the news media regarding with the FRA activities approach from the news media. Personal, uh, personnel inspectors should refer to such as the FRA Office of Public Affairs 202493-6024 for handling the applies with the new organization, including television, radio, news station, as well as newspaper, magazines, web based news outlets, ac academic. Um, additional, this applies with the industry trade publication. Inspectors must not provide a new, must not provide the news media for the information, opinions for the problem will cause accidents and incidences. See contact for the new news media under the Communication Guidelines Chapter 4 for the General Manual for the Guidance of the Regarding with the Request Information Compliance with the FRA, Personnel, Industrial Labor, and other in agencies. The inspector should maintain the cordial relationship with the relationship manufacturer of the railroad equipment, labor union, personnel, other public and governmental agencies. The inspector must obtain the authority of the his or her general or super supervisor responsible before cooperation participation in any of the part of the former, a former or former mentioned group of individuals is conducted. Subpoenas. Please um, read the responding of the subpoenas of the request information and testimony. Chapter 2 of the General Manual provides the important information regarding the re responding to the request demanding of the testifying the procedure documentation out of the side of the parties. Additionally, it is important to note that the subpoenaed, the subpoenaed and otherwise 
notified to appear witness in, the inter- in any court proceeding. Inspectors must be immediately notified the regional office to provide the information with the date and place and the time of the subpoena served, the title of the case, party by the subpoena, the name of the address of the party, attorney, the name of the court, the place, date, and the time of the trial, circumstances of the incident with which the subpoena is supplied with the railroad disciplinary investigation. The inspector must not respond to any of these requests immediately and independently the operating equipment. And any inspector shall never operate any piece of railroad equipment. There is no exception in this rule. However, the inspector may request the railroad representatives move or operate the piece of the equipment and to perform the test of the investigation purposes. Delaying the trains. Inspector has no authority to prohibit the departure moving any of the train locomotive car. Inspector can issue the special notice of the repair and show if apparent the hazard of the condition can be resolved in the accident. It should be the defective train locomotive and departed with the appropriate attention. The railroad lacks the motive of equipment without training the appropriate action. The inspector should notify the regional office immediately developing information with the purpose of the civil penalties against the railroad and for initiating the enforcement against the action. An individual, especially in special notice for the repair, has been issued ignored. Please also in a room with the railroad employees perform unsafe. Chapter 2 General Rules. <clears throat> Unusual occurrences. Please read the hand, handling the terms of the the inspection chapter 2 Major General Manual, the National Transportation Safety Board. Please read the National Transportation Safety Board section chapter 4 General Rule, main is Manual for the Guidance Inspection Safety of the Board of the 1974 established the National Transportation Safety Board with the independent agency of the National Trade Sa- Safety Tra- Bo- Transportation Board to authorize the investigation of railroad accidents. May- recommendations based on the finding of the other investigation, the National Tra- Transportation Safety Board investigators arrived on the scene during the accident and investigation, the FRA inspectors should introduce themselves promptly to contact the regional office to advise the National Train Safety Board present. However, the, unless otherwise otherwise, the FRA investigation activity should continue independently. It's office of, 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 office of Railroad Safety Policy to extend the fully cooperation of the National Transportation Safety Board and all matters related to safety and accident investigation. Inspectors are assigned to assist the National Transportation Safety Board accident investigation. The inspectors must keep the regional administrative informed of the progress of National Safety Safety Train Safety Board Investigations. Chapter 2, Inspection and the Compliance with Programs. <clears throat> 